What's good, everybody? It's Armorilla the God Slayer. Armorilla Gaming. We're back in more Destiny 2. Uh, today, we're going to talk about... Uh, ooh, the future of this uh, particular... The future of this particular video playlist. Um, as, you can, as you guys can tell, I mainly stick towards storyline content uh basically just doing every week's story um in the past i've i've tried to be a little bit more involved in terms of showing the bills that i use for the season um with mixed results uh, some people will take my builds as as if i'm trying to say that these are the bills that everyone should use when i i am and maybe that's partly my fault that i'm not making it you know particularly clear that it's a build that i use not so much as a build that i think you should use and i'm base i'm making the video in and of itself when i make those kind of videos to just basically give you some kind of idea of of a build that you might like or parts of a build you might want to take and, and, and implement into your own it's never been something that i set in stone as you know hey i'm a pro player you need to do this you know um I've seen many, you know, there's already a niche for those, you know, for those kind of videos that I, that I can't feel. Um, there's a lot of bigger YouTubers who dedicate their entire channels to Destiny and shit like that. While I am more of a variety YouTuber in that sense, a, a variety gaming YouTuber in that sense. And that gaming isn't the only thing I do on YouTube. I'm, I'm also uh, beginning to rebuild certain channels. So it's like, okay, I get it. You know, even though gaming is one of my big hobbies, I understand that there are certain people who are specifically uh, uh, members of, of a community, and that's where they are. Like, instead of so much as being an all-around gamer, they are like this kind of gamer or that kind of gamer. And so they are more specialized in, in saying these things. So what I'm going to do instead is, uh, in this video, like I said before, I'm going to kind of give you the understanding that uh, an overview really quick of all three of my characters and what and uh what they uh and what they're rolling with for the solo 3.0 um of course the the storyline has been completed on my uh on the channel I've completed the storyline I have gotten All the all the season seventeen quests are done. Okay, get rid of that. I have long completed the season of the haunted season pass. Um, and as you can see, there are forty six days left in this season pass. It's a whole another month and some no other month and a what no, no month and two weeks thing. So that's going to be a lot of just doing the same old grinds over and over and over again uh what my main thing the main thing i've been doing right now is i've been sh just been trying to get my uh gear sets f that i'm going to be using for the art 3.0 that's coming up soon so i've been trying to get uh new sets of gear with decent stats to, to work around with to then uh switch over to the art uh and then of course just coming up with what I want for the builds on my art build. Like I've just got through getting Trinity Ghoul's Catalyst because I think that might be a fun weapon to use during Art 3.0. Uh, when it comes to this, I'm almost complete with this thing for real. I mean, I don't really, I got all the things I really need from it. Uh, things like that. I think the only, like when it comes to seals, I never get these because I never, well for one, I, I can never get none of the ones that are like uh, raid, that are like race specific because I don't really have a dedicated static. I play this game 90%, 99% solo. So there are just certain ones that I can get to. Like, uh, I'm gonna try to finish Reaper. Uh, I'm gonna try to finish Reaper. I've got everything I need except for one to get that. So I can at least for the first time in my destiny history, playing this game for over 1200 hours. I've never had a, a title before. So, you know, I might try to go ahead and Knock that reaper out um again once i get all of the things i need for my for my uh 
for my art 3.0 builds after that um i'll be putting destiny on the shelf until they decide to come out with some other shit because the way they do their seasons they're good for the first initial punch grind the first initial punch the first initial punch that you do like when you're doing the whole you know throne world thing and you're discovering new shit around here and you're doing new shit around here right that shit is cool it's dope it's fun but then it always hits that point in the season maybe you would call it mid-season or depending on how much you grind not even not even mid-season like somewhere near the you know the beginning the end of the first part of the season you end up in this situation where okay now i'm just repeating shit over and over and over and over and over again and once it gets to that point point in shooting becomes a boring task to do and me as a lower person like i, I i'm writing a, i'm writing a, a fantasy novel myself so i'm really into the idea of creating the lore i draw i paint so i'm really into the creative part of things i am i am highly invested in in destiny's story you know i am highly invested in its story but when it comes to its gameplay there's only so much you can have me point and shoot at before it gets stagnant for me especially when I don't have the the kind of friendship circle that allows for you know six man raids and stuff like that. I don't I don't I don't have, you know, so there's a certain part of the content that I can never fully enjoy. And so with what I can do is that and then I've I, you know I've tried to do PVP on this channel in terms of like play it on not on this channel but on another channel that I totally got rid of to basically restart the journey of, of, of doing video gaming and it's like because i wanted to rebrand myself in a way but like even when i tried it then i saw i was like yeah this is this is not nah like the community of pvpers in this game can be can be borderline detrimental in terms of in terms of uh one the mental aspect of having to swim through the I, I won't I won't call it toxicity because it's not that but it's it's a uh, to swim through the the ocean of, of people who expect you to because you record yourself playing in PvP you're expected to be good as if I can't just record my PvP playing simply because I want to record and say that and you know and place that somewhere where you know either it can be watched or most more likely, uh, most likely that it can be saved for you know for remembrance purposes or things of that nature it's almost as if they say how dare you upload it in a, on a site that uploads billions of hours worth of content daily so i don't know it's just one of those things where i just saw that the negativity that came from posting pvp stuff wasn't worth the effort that i put in to try and do that particular thing in destiny especially considering that the pvp in destiny is so broken in terms of its you know uh in terms of its meta in terms in terms of its meta and the fact that that powers i mean energy i mean, I mean abilities and stuff like that can like totally throw pvp or should i say the the point of point and shooting out of the window in many cases so it's like okay with such an unbalanced mess in terms of that and you know the fact that i can't really um formulate you know a good way to to, to play high-end content or like i say like the uh the in-game content the true in-game content of like raids and stuff i'm stuck to strikes nightfalls grinding the, the, the normal playlists uh of course the six-man activities that come out with each season stuff like that and then, of course, just, you know, creating builds that can get through all of that content. So it's like, okay, cool. That's where my my play my play time in this game lies. But it's like the only part that I could justifiably put out as a mode of content for this game is just showing you the story beats that happen every time. You know, and, you know, sitting back and learning together. What the storyline is, is shaping up to be while at the same time yeah you know come you know getting some cool guns and showing some cool shit that you can do with your with your bills and stuff i do like that but 
it's not enough for me to, to to be able to keep bringing out Destiny content throughout the entirety of the season. You know what I mean? So that's why I wanted to just make this particular video as the, I guess you could say the the ending video for the season. Let you know what I'm going to be working on because even though you might not see any more Destiny videos for a while, I want you to know that I'm working on these things so that when Arc comes back, when Arc 3.0 comes out, I'm going to be able to hit the ground running and, you know, showing Arc 3.0 stuff. And then, of course, more story, hopefully, because, again, we might not get no more story for another month and a half or so. So there's no progression other than my own personal character progression. You know, and again, who's who wants to watch me point and shoot enemies we've been shooting for the last, you know, month already, right? So, yeah. So we'll quickly run through that. Um, basically, what I've been doing, I've been leveling Callus Mini Tool, of course, using Unrelenting and, and uh, a Candescent. You know, of course, you know, I'll just do this right here so you can read those. Right there, you can pause it and read what those things are doing. You can kind of tell what I'm going for there. You know, health regen and of course blowing up stuff uh i finally got an all stringer uh enough all stringers to use in order to actually you know craft my own all stringer it took me forever to do that but finally got it and i'm leveling it now this is this will not be the final build for it I, but you know leveling it now uh, again trinity, uh, trinity ghoul will be for next uh for the next uh class for arc 3.0 when it pops out um, I'll be using, of course, Lucky Raspberry as well for that. Uh, either Lucky Raspberry or there's another one that I'm thinking about, but I think Lucky Raspberry will be the one I'll be using. Uh, and again, like I said, just getting armor pieces that'll, uh, that'll supplement for, for that on the next, uh, because I want to make sure I have a, a separate armor piece, a separate armor group for each class, so I don't have to spend, you know, resources trying to switch elements on these uh, pieces. Um, other than that, um, just hunting down gear for this class, uh, doing that. Um, if you want to see what I'll use on solar, ashes, singeing, char, torches, Eruption. On your mark, lock them down. Solo grenade, knife trick, triple jump, acrobats dodge. Oh yeah, and I am of course using the blade barrage because I am using shards of Galanoa. So that's Hunter. Let's go on to my warlock. Hmm. Warlock. Yoden. Been using Yoden trying to get the catalyst to it. Seems like it'll be really nice with that catalyst, especially for solar stuff. So, getting Yoden's catalyst. Uh, Syncopation. Outlaw Headstone. I love the way this weapon feels. It's one of the reasons why I use it. And I invested so much time into using it. Because I really like the way the weapon feels. Uh, using, of course, sun bracers for infinite grenades for a certain amount of time. Love all the grenades. Especially the, the way the grenades for the warlock work. The uh, the molten, when you use uh, this, it makes the solar grenades linger. And it makes blobs of lava spew out. It's pretty cool when you can like throw mad... Amounts of those out. It's pretty dope. Uh, heat rises. Touch flame. Balance glide. Healing rim. Char. Ashes. Torches. Searing. And of course, again, doing the same thing for, for my warlock. Trying to grab, you know, high gear, high stack geared armor. You know, to pick and choose what I'm going to run next. Of course, uh, I hope you guys like the uh, aesthetic here. I went for a, like a necromancer style build here. Let me look here for my, for my warlock. 
Of course, as you know, I'm all I like all this kind of dark stuff. So I got my dark, I got my dark eagle. You could call it like a, like a raven at this point. Dark raven thing going on. It's nice, nice. Uh, let's go on to. Titan. A Titan. Titan. I am using Fire Fright. Finally just got this one. Uh this this auto rifle feels very good to me as well. So I've been trying to use it as a uh as a main for this for this particular uh build I have. Uh incandescent without uh, without remorse shotgun. Very, very nice. The explosions you get through each shot is also very, very good. Parasite. The, the, the damage of this thing can be can be catastrophically good, depending on uh if you if you know what you're doing and working it well. Um severance enclosure because of the fact that I use throwing hammers, so my throwing hammers explode whenever I throw them, and it's just so it's so good. It feels good to throw hammers and explode. Um doing the same thing again, trying to find high stat armor. To hold on to so that I can uh switch over. I'll probably be using insurmountable skull for it. Um for the uh arc melee kills regenerating health and melee energy. So when that comes up for uh arc, I'll be doing that. And for the sunbreaker, I'm using of course Hammer of Soul, Roaring Flames, Soul Invictus, Thermal Grenade. Throwing hammer, straight flip, rally barricade, ashes, char, searing, torches. So yeah, that's pretty much the uh, the overall build there. Uh, again, when it comes to solo, when it comes to R three point I'll be pulling out Risk Runner. For this particular character, I'll be throwing out Risk Runner for, for this one. Uh, when it comes to my Warlock, I'm still debating on which. Uh, I'm still debating on which. Um, I'm still debating on which uh, exotic I want to use for my Warlock when it comes down to. Uh, let's head to the tower. When it comes to armor and weapons, I don't know which one I want to use for arc with with uh, warlock. It'll depend. It'll depend because I know wrist runner and I know Trinity Ghoul. I know Trinity Ghoul would work well for my hunter because I like the aesthetic of small arms being on hunters. If you noticed. Throughout my time playing this game, if you notice my recordings on this game, I tend to keep certain weapon types on certain characters. That's mainly because of the aesthetic purposes in terms of with the hunter, be it that they're more of like a ninja in a way, I would like to keep them with small arms. Of course, hand cannons being the thing that hunters are, are it's like synonymous with hunters, hand cannons. So I try to always keep a hand cannon in my main slot or in my, uh, either in my main slot or in my, you know, uh, energy slot. Uh, when it comes to anything else, I try to keep light arms, bows, maybe, uh, stuff like that. Um, when it comes to heavy, I do what I do what's necessary for heavy, but like my primary and energy slots, I try to keep them aesthetically, uh, aesthetically pleasing for the class. Uh, Warlocks, pulse rifles, fusion rifles, Things like that, you know, more experimental type weapons. Um, and of course, for Titan, shotguns and autos, baby, you know. Guardians are always welcome on my doorstep. Machine guns what and whatnot. You, Warlock? All right, let's uh, take a look at what we got in the vault. For well, this Warlock, because we kind of we, we kind of got what we need for the other two. What I'm looking for here is I I was thinking about symmetry, but I, I don't I don't know. Symmetry is just the love that this that this 
this this this weapon needs a little bit more love. It really does. Uh, outside of symmetry, I'm probably leaning more towards the trespasser, especially since it's the seasoned weapon, seasoned weapon. So I'm leaning possibly toward it. Uh, and when it comes to heavies, I don't really have any arc heavies other than like war clip coil that might that I might be like, yeah, awesome. But beyond that, I don't think I have any real uh, arc heavies that really, well, there's Grand Overture, but that would probably be more I would use on my Titan. I wouldn't use it on my Warlock. Uh, for my Warlock, it will probably be something like War Clip Coil or Queen Breaker. Something like that. But other than that, yeah. So when it comes to that, we can we can go into the armor. The biggest thing I was looking at for the armor was the helmet. And this I would like to use. Well, yeah, I actually could use. And uh, yeah, I can actually use this. This will probably be good enough. And then, uh, of course, that, and then uh, trespasser. So that might just that might just be what what I use there. It might just be what I use there. So yeah, other than that, it's just gonna be a bunch of grind until they decide to do something else with the game. Uh. You already know where you know, where, where the grinds happen at, all that other stuff. It's like there's just there comes a point in time where it's like okay, there's just very little I can I, I, there's, there's very little I can make excuses for recording this game for, you know. That again, bigger channels have already done and will look redundant if I try it, you know. So I try to stick to the story mainly, and then. When it comes to making builds or guy or not guys, but making a uh, build videos for the builds I use, I kept it painstakingly short. Be it that that's the biggest complaint I get whenever I make twenty minute you no know, you no know, guy uh, twenty minute build videos dedicated to just hunter or just that one build for my hunter or just that one build. They're like, okay, cut a little long winded. It's cool, but a little long winded. So I'm like, all right, I guess people's attention spans are a little too long <laughs> or people just got a lot of shit to do. So it's like, all right, cool, I get it. You know, attention spans too short or you got a lot to do. One of the two is happening here. Cool. You know, I mean, I've become more comfortable now with doing long form content and not really caring how people consider it being too long because at the end of the day, I've had to, I've had to just, you know, Swallow the bullet and be like, "Hey, that's your kind of content. You make long, you make long-ended content. You like to explain and talk, you know, explain things, you know." And so it's like, "Cool, that's the kind of shit I do. That's the kind of shit I do. That's the reason why in some of these videos you'll start, you'll actually hear me say, if you don't like, you know, long-form content, you ain't gonna want to watch this, you know." But in any case. Outside of that, I think the only thing I'll probably be doing now, again, is just chasing pinnacles. I'll be probably chasing pinnacles to get some light level up. Um, when it comes to the season pass, I just got a bunch of exotics that I never open. And the main reason why I don't open these freaking exotics is because they're going to give me exotics that I already got. That's another thing that I don't like about the, the season pass is because they lock so many exotics away to specific things like legendary law sectors and stuff like that. I've got like, if you can, we can look, we can look. Like I've got, you gotta go back to the top for this, but I've got, we go to collections, exotics, even though I don't have you know, probably half of the exotics.
that's like out there, you know, well, that's ornaments. That's ornaments. When it comes to weaponry. I got 69 out of 94 exotics. Right? I got 69 of them out of 69. Nice. You know, but when it comes to like, again, because I, I, I don't do raid content, I don't have things like Vex Myth Class or you know, I could go and get Devil's Ruin out of the what you call it, but like very few, there's very few weapons that I can actually attain unless, you know, I go through the whole Rick and Moreau trying to look through LFG and I've already seen the nightmare that is LFG in this game. So it's like, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even going to expose myself to that abuse. But, <laughs> but I mean, again, it's all kind of, it's all good because very few of the weapons I've seen in terms of raids, raid weapons, are weapons that I am like dying to have. Like my most favorite weapon in this game, my most favorite weapon in this game is Thorn. So, you know, and it's my most favorite weapon because the my most favorite character in the lore of Destiny is, uh, of course, uh, Dredging Yor. So, Thorn has always been my favorite weapon in this game. And I have three Thorns, so, one for each of my characters, just in case I want to use it on Titan, Warlock, or Hunter. But like, if we go over here to the little machinery here, it's little machinery, you know, and we look at all the, you know, you know, I've got everything here except for World Line Zero, uh, Sleeper Simulator, and that's because I don't really care for this weapon. I don't, I, I don't like this weapon. I know a lot of people do, but I don't like that weapon. I don't like the way the weapon looks. I don't like the way that weapon, I've seen the way it play. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't like over penetrate and refract off server. I don't play, I don't use hard light for the same reason as this weapon. Like to me that refracting off surfaces thing, that requires a whole lot of effort for, for a minimal damage return, at least in my eyes. Um, Legend of Acris, of course, Spoils of Conquest. I don't, I don't get those. Um, there's Strum, I never, was into using Strom as a hand cannon. That hand cannon is superbly ugly to me. So I don't use it. I wouldn't want to use it. So I don't have it. But like something like Whisper of the Worm. When I saw this weapon before, when I first saw this weapon, I was like, yo, this weapon is so awesome looking as a sniper rifle. Even though I don't use sniper rifles that much, I wanted that weapon. Um, Polar up Polaris Lance, of course I wanted this weapon. This weapon was, was awesome. It's uh, a staple of that time during the Red War. Um, I got everything here, except, of course, can't get Anarchy, because I don't do raids. Can't get terrible, don't do raids. Can't do always on time, and it's a fucking exotic vehicle, because I don't do raids. Uh, same thing here. Most of the weapons you see here are the weapons like, I, I, I can get Devil's Ruin, but I don't use sidearms like that. Like, Bastion. It's a fusion rifle, and for a time, this fusion rifle was like considered like crazy. I'm not sure how it's considered now, but I, you know, back in the day, it was like considered crazy. And it fires kinetic slugs, and so it's like it's a kinetic fusion rifle. Eh, kind of not my taste. This weapon, I've heard people use this weapon before, and it, it, it like it burns you after a certain amount of time. Like it does like self damage to you, but I guess that self damage ups the damage or something like that. Uh, four horsemen, nice shoddy. It looks nice in terms of uh, its uh, aesthetic, but ah, not too much into that. Now, Traveler's Chosen is one that I did think about getting, simply because of the ridiculous OPness of Gathering Light and Gift of the Traveler. I was like, that was, you know, I know people that swear by this weapon, so you know, that's one that I'm thinking about looking into. But like, outside of those. Like, and Shadow Keep, and all of these, they only had one for the Wish Queen Exotics, which is the one I have, of course. And then when it comes to Legendary Gear, you know, not that many people really want to, you know, go back and grab some of this. I mean, some of this might be all right. I'm not sure about it. Like, I may look into getting a Luna's Howl. You know, 
be that everybody talks like this weapon right here is just it's just oh my god right so but then again that's because i see a lot of pvp or talk about that weapon so you know ah you know ah so i've gotten you know to that point to where okay there's not there's not a lot of a lot left i can justify in terms of recording outside of the story and everything else will just be redundant you watching me grind shit out so i just want to instead do a quick show of what the, i'm working with with the build letting you know how this goes when it comes to me recording destiny um so that you know you don't get the idea that i'm just abandoning destiny period i'm not i've just reached a point where it's no longer justifiable to record the damn game i could play it but recording it will be redundant because there will be nothing for me to show other than just the, re the repeated grind. And so, see you guys, I guess, in season 18. And, or when Arc 3.0 comes out, whichever one comes first. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. I'm a really the Godslayer. I'm a really gaming. Yeah.